Hey, and what's up, everybody? This is Nun Defense, host of this YouTube channel, and of course, co leader of the team, still unboomable. We'll just pull them right up. Of course, there is Mr. There's Nun Defense way down there with 385 victory points, and of course, our real leader, Miss Boom Bitch Angie. Say hello, Angie. Hey, everybody. And of course, our co leaders, Mr. Braun Soon from Australia and Nick Hill from uh, India. Of course, our regular officers, meaning uh, being Titan. HB and Hex. Those are the guys that we specifically, if nobody else is around, those are the guys that we would allow to, uh, you know, guide the team. And as other people, you know, show them that they understand our system well enough to at least guide the team towards a general direction, then they'll be, you know, considered to have that privilege on our team as well. Now, of course, this video is a part of our Booming Without Borders campaign, and that's where we go to other teams and we show our we show our attacks we watch their attacks we review their attacks and our attacks and we just kind of try to figure out how to put this thing together what i often find whenever i come to a when i when i'm picking a booming without borders team is i'm looking for teams that have lower success rates but strong members because I find what's happening in these cases where they're just trying to use too much strength and not enough brains, you know, pure and simple. And I think, you know, a lot of the replays will demonstrate that. I am, of course, on the recruiter SUB. That stands for still unboomable. Um, I don't use uh, for I don't recruit anymore. Like we've locked our team down. No new members. Uh, but back in the days when I used to recruit, this was the account that I would uh, do a lot of that. So last video, we showed you that we started bottleneck, yeah, bottleneck, and we showed you that we put on the attacks that came with me. There was me and Daryl and Titan and Marshall and Sander Bob. I think that was everybody who, who actually came over, but I, I filled up most of the slots myself with accounts that I have access to, such as I brought a couple of bronze accounts over, I brought uh, Lord Marshall's account over, and these are not my accounts, they're just accounts I have access to. And then, of course, I brought over all my accounts, plus Angie, because she was driving, so she couldn't do it. But this is the video, this is the Task Force Critic, and this is, um, this is the, these are the videos that always get the most clicks, uh, but they're also very, you know, kind of the least popular, sorry, because this is where I'm actually going to go and start looking at, you know, your guys' attacks. So, let's go ahead and begin the process. And Ken got disconnected. It's going to happen, you know, he said he was going through a tunnel. Uh, Ken, I'll go ahead and be critical of that. If you know if you're out on the road and you know you're you know there's a risk that you're gonna lose connection, don't hit that attack button. Wait, just wait. Like wait. I mean, disconnections happen, right? We all know that. We accept that. But you know when you're in a situation where it's likely that you're gonna get disconnected, i.e., out on the road in a busy big city that has tunnels and such. Yeah, man, you need to just just back off and just let that one go. Just wait till you get home. I guess. All right, so Commander G, he was the first person to attack Ballast. So let's go ahead and look at what he did. Pause. Uh, first thing that I'm doing, the notes said, this Commander G guy, he wrote the notes, and his notes were just as simple as, it looks like left is probably the right decision. Um, sure, you know, yeah, that, that, that's fine. I'm okay with the, with the decision to go left. Um, so good job there. Let's see how all this goes down. Not shocking there. If you're going to fight these things, fight them, man. Just flare them directly. Don't waste a shock. Okay, I'm going to go over here and generate these power cells. Please don't use these power cells to shock something, please. Oh, no. No, these are that's gunboat that you could be using to bomb in this rocket, man. That's gunboat that you could be using to bomb in this stuff up here. Yeah. All right, good job. You got into the, to the little bombing bit there. Gotta watch your Zooka placement when there's mines. That's important. Alright, so not bad, Commander G. I, I would, I'd give this a solid. If you were on Still Unboomable and you turned that attack in, I'd be like, eh, solid. Alrighty, so that was Commander G. Samadero, Bull Rush. I showed him last video. I'm just gonna just quickly summarize him. BF, you said he's one of your favorite players. Then, then that means he should be coachable to the point to not do this kind of attack anymore because this wasn't good um i mean aside from the fact that he had this troop combo 
let's say he went in with just a, a hookah, he would have done been much better off. He would have flared here, he would have dropped his zookas first. If he's here, flared here, flared here, flared here, get in position, come down, work this side. It'd have been lovely. It'd have been a good solid attack. However, he went in with this garbage, and well, you know, when you send in garbage, you, you get garbage. That's just kind of how that works. And you say, oh, well, he got a sniper tower, or like, yeah. And, like, well, the point, was it a useful sniper tower to get? I mean, like, I guess, you know, he didn't, you know, it's like when I call people bad at Texas, oh, it didn't hurt nothing. Well, no, it didn't really hurt, but if you're not really helping, you, you got to factor that in. And I'm not saying you weren't some kind of help, but that just wasn't good. I'm sorry, Bull Rush. Yeah, I'm sorry, that just wasn't good. Uh, Centrex, level 50, he's going in tanks. Wait. What was what was his tank level? Let's check that. Level ten. Um, nope, 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 nope. When a bottle when you're doing bottleneck or higher, level ten tanks, the, it will laugh at you, laugh at you. So let's watch him laugh at you. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see how this goes. Okay, you decided to go over here. You're gonna bomb there. See how quickly these rockets are working you down. Like, and you haven't even started dealing with, like, all the main stuff. Like, this is, like, you a hookah here, sending warriors in first to go ahead and remove these rockets. Imagine that I had, when I had done my attacks where I removed the rockets, imagine that I did that first, okay? That I went ahead and removed the rockets first, and then you went in, uh, whoever that guy was, uh, Centrex. You see what I'm saying? Like, you, use your noodle for a minute. Think about what you need to do. Think about what's going to set up the next attack, attack better. We could have easily got rid of those rockets for you, and then you would have tore that side up, even with your, you know, weak-ass level 10 tanks. And yes, level 10 is a weak tank. I hate to tell you guys. Uh, Steve, he attacked Mercury. We looked at this last video, and it was solid, as I recall. What I liked about Steve's attack was he was very defensive focused meaning he was focused on taking out defenses and opening things up so i like steve just based on that um i you know i'm not shocking this if you're gonna flay if you're gonna how do i say this just don't shock that like it's a wasted of a shock like what are you gonna say one heavy when it's all said and done two heavies not no, not a big deal if to save that position uh just flare over here reposition you don't even have to shock it save it for gunboat man on your operations, you really need to be working on your gunboat. It's a, you know, let your troops fight the stuff on the ground. Let your gunboat deal with the things that are out of reach. Um, so that was Steve, Steve, Steve. Republic Rebels attacked Ballast. He's level 49. Let's go ahead and see how he does. This is just a simple, we're dropping left. Nice bomb work. Go ahead and get there. Put your Zookas first. Flare here. Oh, God, I hate it when people do that. Why do you people do that? You know, and I've seen people do that. Like, why do you think that that's the way? Because it's not the way. It's just not. Don't drop them that way. There's really no reason to. It's going to cost you one day. You're going to say, oh, it was fine this time. Um, well, and then you missed your kind of smoke there. But I'm not being too critical. That was a good shock. Like, that was a good shock. But you, I wish we had had another one in the tank, you know, like... You got to think about these things. If you know your plan is to sneak around the back, then you need to make sure somehow, some way, you have enough to keep this thing locked down, like you have to. And there was, in my eyeballs, told me there was no reason you couldn't have, you know, just better allocation of your gunboat. Uh, Ram Punchington, love the name. And <laughs> that's a pretty clever name. Ram, before you even go anything, I can tell what you're already doing wrong. You're dropping your heavies first, and you're going to need to drop your Zooka. So just go and have your Zooka selected and go, blah, 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 flare, flare. And then you're, then you're ready. Then you're on something, right? Wow. So, I hate the, two, the, the hookah medic. I don't like it. It serves zero purpose. It doesn't keep the heavies alive nearly as long as you guys think it keeps the heavies alive. I'm ignoring this boom cannon entirely in this situation, and I'm focusing all my gunboat efforts on the smoke around this corner to work the top. Like, all this stuff, even the stuff that my guy Titan went after was just kind of pointless. You know, all this stuff, ignore it. Smoke back here, get back here, 
then work. Work this area. Okay, so that was Ram Punchington, but man, I love the name. Uh, BF. So everybody on the team think, says that you're the best, that you are the best attacker. I can tell you that you're not because you're using Hookah Medic. Sorry, you just, I, so you're not the best attacker just based on that. Alrighty, pause. If, for, if somebody was to come to me and say, hey, BF is the best attacker on our team. Watch this attack, and I'm looking at it right at this point. The only way that I'm going to accept that BF is the best attacker is if he successfully smokes his guys, ignores all this stuff, successfully smokes his guys back here, shocks this, fights this, and continues to work his way down, establishing a positioning for the win. Anything less than that, we're like, eh. so let's see what BF actually did. Yep, I'm, you're wasting your gunboat. That's a waste. You don't need to take those out. You're dropping your hookahs and your zookas wrong. You're flaring over here wrong. It's bad positioning. It's going to cost you. BF. Like in the chat, everybody's talking about how good you are, BF. What happened? And I'm not making fun of you, BF. I'm just showing you like what you could have easily done you could have easily smoked back here you could have easily held this thing locked down and you could have easily with your strength and skill you could have worked this whole section man you see what i'm saying just by using a little bit of brain work screw screw this shock here just smoke 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 then start shocking and fighting and you're fine so no you you guys have a strength first mentality and it shows on the field attack titan my guy did have a terrible attack in his defense, he was just trying to hit the attack and get out of here because as soon as this attack was over, he left the team heading back home. He was just trying to weaken this thing up. I talked to him about it a little bit. He was like, well, I figured since they already spent time, you know, trying to kill this thing, I'd go ahead and help him out and finish it. So he did. Good job, Titan. But he was right. You know, you shouldn't have wasted time even worrying about that rocket. Waste all your time trying to get to the back. Smoke effectively to the back, not shock. Don't shock when you need to be smoking. Don't smoke when you need to be shocking. Recognize the difference. Everyone's afraid of smoke. Everyone's afraid of smoke. That is a good point. I don't know what's up with that. Lord Ollie, once again, and and BF, I blame you for this, for all this tank medic, or hookah medic, because they say, oh, well, it's good enough for BF, so it must be good. It's not. <laughs> you know, maybe for player bases, and I've tried it. You know, and all my 20 plus accounts that I've, I've tried every combination, and this just isn't that good. You can do so much more with more heavies and more zookas. You just can. Boss land. See, boss land's figured it out. Like, there ain't no point in throwing medics in that party. So now it's all wide open. Boss land, for this attack to be successful, I need you back here working your way down. Anything less, I'm, I'm disappointed with. Let's see what you got. I mean, I get the flare, but, you know, you're kind of, it's not great positioning. I really want to be over here and come at it from this way, but all, at this point, all this stuff was gone. But I'm telling you, getting in position around here is ultimately going to save you guys several attacks. Like, BF might have been able to win this thing, and if not, uh, boss land should have been able to win this thing after BF's attack. You know, and that's on BF, man. BF, all you had to do was just get back there and set the pace. You know, set it up. But you got to coach your guys. Don't be scared to try to do things. Don't be, don't be scared. I don't remember who it was that said he was going to try something risky, but it was a good effort, whatever it was. I remember watching it live, but I just can't remember who it was. But whatever it was, it kind of worked. So good job, whoever that was. It wasn't great. I remember that. I just can't remember who it was. See, but this this should have been the attack prior. Like, this should have been the win. Or the uh, attack prior should have been the win. You know, we should have been able to give Mercy 7 the day off. But, no, we had to get him out of bed and send him in because we didn't properly set up the win. Now, to be fair, the team still unboomable knocked off one two three four bases in reasonably short order like it really didn't take us that long to go ahead and knock things off so you know if everybody had just if everybody on the team westland the remaining members who had an attack if they just used bomb work this thing would have eventually failed so uh i don't want to judge y'all 
too critically based on that since we ate up a lot of the attacks. Let's see. I'm going to try to look at attacks of people that haven't watched yet. Ken, okay. So Ken was able to get, get his troops on the ground this time. He got disconnected last time. He's going to shock this. Please don't shock this, Ken. Ken, don't shock it. Ken, 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 don't shock it. Don't. Ken! Like, there's no reason to shock it there, man. Why are we... Ken! What are we doing? What are we doing, Ken? All right, flare this. Flare this. Ken! What are you doing? All right, all right, all right. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just like, see how much shock he's just wasting? He'd just be... He could have just dropped, flared that mortar, fought the mortars, flared the boom cannon, shocked the boom cannons once, taken out both of them, and then start... And what was this? Please tell me that was a mistake flare. Please tell me that was a mistake flare. Alright, so that was Ken. Ken, I'll, I'll coach you, man. I, I will. I will get you wherever you need to be. This guy got kicked, I believe. So, I'm not, and it was just, he just dropped gunboat and left. I don't know. Uh, RB987, I haven't looked at one of his yet. So, let's see what he brings to the table. <laughs> so he's just doing a little bomb work on the back there. Not bad, not bad. That actually is a good of the bombing options. That's a good choice. Flare here. That, that this is a bad habit flare. Good habit flare. Bad habit flare. It's working over here. Flare here. Flare here. Flare here. What are you doing? All right. It's it's what my eyeballs are telling me watching a lot of these attacks guys is that your lower players are, aren't getting any guidance they're just not and don't tell me that they are because they're not you can see it you can tell based on the attacks so this was boss Lin on high five did i skip high five i'm not showing all the attacks i'm trying to focus on people i haven't seen so he got the boston got the easy win here and by the way, I was watching y'all do that one live, and y'all went about it just all wrong. All wrong. Oh, uh, let me pull it up untouched. Alright, so this was BF. You know, you say, oh, well, a win's a win. It's like, yeah, but this was before we started Bottleneck, so this is more of just strength. That's all that's happening here, guys. I, you, please don't confuse yourself and convince yourself that y'all did so well on this base because of how good you are. Because you didn't. Like, not even a little bit. I'm sorry, this was just pure strength. Everybody who can see, who has eyes, can see it. There was nothing special about this attack. Sorry, BF. You're not bad. And keep in mind, when I criticize this, isn't me saying that you're bad. It's just, you know, calling it as I see it. I make mistakes. We make mistakes. But you guys, uh, I find with the strong players, y'all tend to start getting complacent and start mistaking strength for skill. Strength is not skill. Skill is skill. <clears throat> so you you guys are just going over and just kind of bowling things over, you know, like pushing things down like a 10-year-old. And, you know, if that's your opinion of a fair fight, then sure. All right. So this was Lord Ollie. See, like, this right here, this is the kind of base that we should have sent BF in on. Like, why are we sending BF in on high five? These are questions. BF, you could have went loaded up your hookah. Hell, even your tanks, if you smoke, smoke, drop, 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 flare over here, work all this stuff, stuff be bombing this shock launcher back here and then we're going to go in uh, send some warriors to de deal with this this and this and then we're going to go in and just win this thing you know BF you should have been the first guy on that base oh I was going to watch that <sighs> hookah medic I'm not a fan guys and I guarantee the day that every yeah it was terrible so we we've wasted two shocks where one smoke would have done one smoke caused how much one smoke first smoke Two? Three? Something like that. Well, he wasted two shocks, which is like seven plus twelve. So, like, nineteen, eighteen? I'm terrible at math. Never pretended to be good at math. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Smoke is cheap. Like, smoke is just so cheap. And you can just use it and get through it. 
and it'll be wonderful. I like the fact that you're bombing this shock launcher in this situation. Like, still, it's not my ideal system. I'm gonna, this shock launcher is not even gonna be there at this point, but um, under our system, because we're gonna just try to eliminate that quickly. But either way, uh, Commander Bob, I think we looked at one of his. I think we're kind of seeing the point, and that's what often happens on these, te these teams, is whatever the leader is doing, that's usually what the rest of the team is doing. Throw a barrage right here. One barrage. One right, right there. Right, right there. Just get rid of that. Okay. He got rid of the rocket. So, good job on that. That was actually a very brave attack. I'm actually very proud of Commander Bob in that situation. So, good job, Commander Bob. Uh, Commander G. So, he's the guy who was trying to write notes for us when we attacked yesterday. Um, the Commander G, I don't think you're qualified to write notes, you know, and if you, I mean, I like the fact that you're smoking there. You're just kind of, it's like you know what to do, you just haven't quite figured out how to do it correctly. Does that make sense? Is that a fair assessment? But I love the fact that you're, you know, you're trying really hard to smoke around. Commander G, you're going to be all right. Still don't think you're qualified to write notes. I mean, not just based on what I saw yesterday. Maybe yesterday you were having an off day, but there was nothing impressive about your notes yesterday. A little flare there. If you're going to flare up here, go ahead and just flare up here. Let them work their way down this way. See how now they're all kind of spread out? You know, you got to think about this stuff. So now you're flaring the uh, shock launcher, and you got rid of that. It's a nice little suicide there. Nice sacrifice. Beautiful. Do, 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 do. Did you even? Did you guys even win this? All right, so this was powder keg, and you didn't win. I know you say, "Oh, well, not everybody attacked." Well, why are they on the team if they're not attacking? Question mark. Question mark. It's a fair question. Now, on still unboomable, yeah, you know, we require everyone to attack every operation, or at least give us a heads up if you're not going to be available. So that way, and we know, James, you just got fired with those bombs, pal. I mean, I don't know if this was your first attack with them or what, but I'm assuming at this point that you've been on, you know, the team for a little while, right? And, you know, you've been coached a little while. So assuming assuming that's true, you just got kicked from Still Unboomable based on it. As soon as you start throwing those bombs, I'm like, sorry, pal. Because we're, cause we coach better than that. Like, there's no reason to throw bombs in that situation. And I was here. I read the chat, guys. Don't tell me anybody coached him to do better next time. Nobody even spoke to him. Not one single word. <sighs> Bull Rush, you're going in. You're with your stupid hookah medic tanks. Let's watch this fail. Do 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 do. So, BF, fair question. This is your one of your favorite players. Why? Please tell me why. Fair question. That was 30 seconds of favorite. It was wide open, way around the edge there, and he just dove straight in, and in the end, didn't really get anything. This guy's hammer. Let's see what hammer does. Okay, drop it. you're dropping your zookas and your heavies all wrong. I assume that was just a little mistake. I like the fact that you're actually bombing things. You know, it was all right, just really not much of a plan. But he did bomb things, so that, that's good. And that's what I'm seeing as we go through. Oh, blah. Oh, blah. I loved how you chatted so much yesterday and called so much attention to the chat yesterday. And then if you didn't even attack. So I went back and I watched this attack just to kind of see what your skill was. Blah. You see how your team has dedicated time and resources to clear this side over here? If you're going over here, even though, and I'll admit, full disclaimer, had I started this base, we would have been attacking from this side right from the beginning, so good job there, Blah, for recognition which was the right, the correct side to go after. However, you're now wasting all of your friends' attacks. All of your teammates' attacks are now wasted. You see what I'm saying? Every, assuming that you had won right here, just like, blah, 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 and all of a sudden you magically won, then that means every attack that went over to this side was wasted. And you were a part of that. You could have, you should have just, at this point, drop on this side, continue to work the path that everybody else is, work with your team, don't go against the flow. Come on, Blah, you can do better than this. 
and then it wasn't that well executed of a run on top of that like I'm again I'm not really sure what you were trying to do you wanted to take out a machine gun so that deserves co-leader on this team blah I mean these are questions you should ask yourself these are not questions that I'm trying to be mean just throwing it out there like what did you do that deserved that was worthy of the status that you seem to think you have on this team Dropping your Zookas wrong. Put your Zookas here. It's a good habit. Barrage over here. If, I, if somebody had a barrage over here when I told them to, then this stuff isn't even an issue. Shock. Why do people insist that, you know, critters are the same as shock? It's not. It's really not. I mean, decent little attack. It just, you know... There's no no effort being put on these rockets here. It's like these rockets are caught, are ruining everybody's day, and nobody's even really trying that hard to work on them. Like you got it, you got to see this stuff ahead of time, guys. When you first load the operation, you just got to see this stuff and start working out how you're going to deal with it. So this is Glazer. Glazer. So what's Glazer going to do? What was that? What was that? And now you're out of shock. You got just enough for one more, and then that was it. Now you're out. Here goes the rockets. In three, two, one. You're dead. <laughs> like, that's it. You know, I mean, yeah, you got two boom cannons. That's great, but we're smoking, at this point, we're smoking around these boom cannons, and we're not even that concerned about them. So, again, you haven't done much here. I mean, you did all right. It's just this isn't the win. Like we're we're beating our head against the wall over here when we need to all just be working around here and knocking a hole in the wall. Okay, uh, so that was Glazer, Mir six seven. Now remember, guys, this wasn't even on bottleneck. What we did on bottleneck that was just you know us. Drop your zookas first. Flare here. All right, so he's going to start working this stuff. What's he going to bomb? Why are you bombing that, pal? Why are you bombing that shock launcher? All right, shock. No, shock here in the middle. You'll hit all five at one time. I mean, you're doing okay. It's like you're... you're it's like you guys are managing with your just kamikaze style, but you're really not because you're not, win you're not beating bases. Did I just see five level six tanks? Like, please tell me I didn't just see that. I'm just going to look at it. Oh, excuse me. Eight level six tanks. He went in with eight level six tanks. Level six. And this is on powder keg. I, we didn't, when we were doing powder keg, we didn't allow anything less than level 12. <laughs> you know, and he may say, you know, you say, oh, well, he got those rockets. I'm like, yeah, how could he not get the rockets, considering all the attacks that have been kind of just pounded on this thing? My point is we should have gotten rid of the rockets first. We should have figured that out first. If you had done that first, then every other attack is a good attack. Oh, this was the attack that I was actually going to go in and win, but IK screwed it up, and not only did he not win, he cost me an amazing win. I was going to have a great win. He went in and had this. It was going to be a beautiful win, and I'll tell you exactly what I was going to do. I had warriors, and uh, I had <laughs> these warriors here, ten warriors, and then I had a couple boats, or then I had the rest Zooka. So I was like two boats of warriors and the rest Zookas. Let me show you. This is what I was planning on. I was getting loaded up, just waiting to where I could sit still long enough to do it. I'll tell you exactly what I was going to do. I was going to drop my two boats of warriors. I was going to flare right here. I was going to flare there. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Shock. Flare. You know, finish bomb. You know, I was going to bomb this, so I was going to take these two out quickly. And then that, then all three rockets are gone. And then I would have dropped all my zookas, flared right here, and then just let them walk up for the win. Like, I was set, man. Like, it was ready to go. IK, you robbed me, brother. You robbed me. But I don't blame you. You didn't know what I was about to do, so it wasn't your fault. But he did get it so weak that, you know, I didn't get to do my impressive victory. I just sent, um, I just sent my warriors up here to start eating cells, knowing that, you know, once they eat X number of cells, 
that the, um, the HQ was just going to pop anyway. So in the chat, they were screaming at me, go for the car, go for the car, go for the car, go for the car, go for the car. You know, when I got out of the chat, and I was like, what, why? Why? Well, I didn't need to. Like, there was no point in going for the core there. So, I didn't. Glarifying attack distortion. Let's look at glarifying. I'm not going in any particular order. Glarifying, please. To what level tanks are these? Level 5. You know, and I mean, that's fine, guys. If you want to be a team that allows just anybody to go in with whatever, however... That's fine. You know, there's plenty of teams, you know, that enjoy being okay. Just okay. I like the fact that, I mean, you have the principles. Shock it again. Shock it again. Shock it again. Good job. Okay, so he got that off. I mean, you guys got the principles. It's like you know what to do. You just can't figure out how to do it. And that's what that's what I'm hoping, you know, Booming Without Borders is able to, to do is just show you, you know, that there's a way. There's a way to do these easier bases. And this is, I look at bat, uh, uh, Distortion, and we're like, ooh, that's a fun one. <laughs> like, we always enjoy Distortion. We enjoy all the layouts. The only one that really gives us fit is a Quota, but we've gotten a lot better about Quota. So, Garifine, I'm going to give you the award for making the best you could out of a bad situation you shouldn't have been going in with these tanks in the first place I mean good job for fighting the rockets and all of that stuff um, you know but think about how much more you could have done with a hookah there because you still could have used the same amount of shocks you know you and you'd have got rid of those rockets and that would have leave, left you at least enough gunboat to bomb something right so this is now we're on distortion who has convinced you guys that tanks are just the way? Like, they're not. They are not the way. I mean, they're okay. They're perfect for player bases. I love them for player bases. Love them against Dr. T. You know, um, but they are not every down troops in operation. But you guys treat them like they're every down troops. And they're not. ASIF? ASIF? Like, you could have done your team a huge favor and just loaded something else. You know, I so, say, oh, well, I don't want to take the time to load. Okay, fine. You don't want to take the time to load, but you're willing to take the time to die? Because that's what you're doing. You are taking the time to die. So, I, you know, if that's useful to you. Dan Radar, level 8. It's not good enough, Dan. It's just not good enough, and it's not a matter of your skill. It's a matter of the strength of the tanks. Like, you can be doing so much better. When your tank isn't strong enough, then you really are better off going with a lower level hookah. Like, you really are. Just the numbers show it. Just, though, you know, having those zookas behind your heavies, even weak zookas behind weak heavies, you're going to be better off because you're just going to be able to allocate what's going on better. And keep in mind, this is, this is just powder keg. Like, I look at powder keg like a powder puff because it's not... Man, I can't even remember the last time we legitimately started powder keg. You know? I mean, again, solid. You know what you're doing. Like, there's no denying that. You clearly know what you're doing. Be Aware Death, is that this guy's name? Well, Be Aware Death... You need to be aware of this win better be yours because there's no reason that it shouldn't be. No, don't do that. Don't do that. that was, I'm sorry. Be aware of death. You're going to drop over here. You're going to flare over here. You're going to flare over here. Get yourself in position. You're going to barrage this stuff. Get rid of that. You're going to let them walk up. You're going to shock right there, right here, which is going to take care of this mortar, these two snipers, and uh, this flamethrower, and this doom cannon. You're going to fight this stuff, and then you're going to do a reposition, and then you win. Congratulations. You just beat. You just won. But you didn't because you did that. And then unsufferable. And this is the last attack that I'm going to show in this video. You're just kind of throwing them out there, just however, why ever. You know, same thing. Everything that I was saying. What were you bombing there, pal? Now I have to rewatch it. Just to figure out what you were bombing. You're bombing... 
I'm trying to figure it out. You're bombing machine guns? Why? Okay. Now, what was that flare about? Oh. So right there, guys. You had two, uh, two to three, four opportunities to go ahead and put this thing away. But but lack of go like lack of coaching, lack of guidance, uh, lack of a system, lack of a plan led to uh, you know led to a loss. And I guarantee, if I went through every single loss. That pet, that theme is going to continue to repeat itself. Even if I went through the victories, I guarantee that theme's going to repeat itself. These you know themes like that, habits like this don't just happen. You know, and you can't say, oh, well, it was just this time. All the other times we were fine. Uh, no, pal, sorry, that is not how it works in real life. But all right, so that was just a, you know, just a here's me just showing. Where I know it seems like I'm just making fun of everybody, and it's certainly not the case. The thing that I want you to walk away at the end of this video in is low-level tanks, useless for ops. Useless. You gotta flare the corners. We got to drop our zookas and heavies correctly. Medics, get rid of the just work with me. Just try. Everybody who's using hookahs or medics with their hookahs, just just swap it out with either heavies or zookas and just see the difference. Yeah, you're gonna lose heavies, but you're losing heavies anyway. Like, so what does it matter? If you're going to lose heavies, lose heavies. But keep your, you know, have Zookas on the field and let them do their work, man. Um, those are some of the big things. We've got to plan better because uh, the, 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 the operations don't get easier. You know, I know enough. Everybody's maxed out. Then eventually you won't have to come up with a plan or whatever. And it's like, yeah, that, that's true. But you guys aren't there yet. You're not even close to there our team isn't there like we're nowhere near there so the point is you're gonna have to figure out if if winning operations harder operations is important to you then these are the adjustments that you're gonna have to make if you just want to kind of keep you know doing little piddly wants or you know piddly operations you know that's fine you know go right ahead but again not to brag you saw what we did crew you know we just came in we use solid principles, no real super high levels, you know, and we had a couple of high strong levels, but nothing like super amazing. We didn't overpower anything. We outsmarted it, and that's the point. We outsmarted it, and I would like to teach you guys how to outsmart these things as well. All right, well, if you are a mid to strong higher level player and you are looking for a team that, as of right now, is just kind of more of a relaxed feel and not really a lot of pressure put on wins and losses, then this would be a good time for you to jump in. You can find their hashtag at hashtag 2J0LGY2Y. That is hashtag 2J0LGY2Y. Well, all right. Well, I want to thank all of you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope we can continue to work together for all you guys on Westland, and we can get this sorted out and get ready to do the training op, and it'll be a lot of fun. I love the training ops. So much fun to be had. All right. Well, I want to thank you again for watching. Please remember that we are still unboomable, and as always, please be safe.